everyone, Richard here from Secret Training. I'm just going to go and try and get my feet up on this. I will... Uh, I seriously doubt anyone's in at the moment. Let's see. Because hopefully I might be able to see the, uh, the stream, uh, the comments on here instead of the camera. Get my pads really slow. see where I am. Right, so whilst that's loading up, <coughs> what we're going to do today is actually uh, show you how to make some dumbbells at home. Uh, it's going to be an easy rating I would say. Uh, let's just try and see if I can find it. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. That's it. Excellent. I'll go on the comment section there. Come on. Right, well, as you can see, I've got a really big brew. It's like a, a cup and a half of, uh, well, two cups of brew. Just been sports direct. got two people watching, hello to you both. I, sorry, I can't see you at the moment. Right, so anyway, we're going to start now. So, <clears throat> the idea is to make some dumbbells. Uh, we're going to make some... I'll turn that down, sorry, I can hear myself. I was... The new volume was turned off. Uh, so, where were we again? We're making some dumbbells. Uh, we're going to try and make them light. Don't have to be too heavy, but you've got to be careful. They might be too light for you. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with some of the ideas we had the other day. And... Soup. I'm not bothered about advertising people, so I'm not the BBC. It's not, it's not Blue Peter. So, tin of soup. A good idea is a pair of scales. So what we're going to do is, we are going to weigh them, so you know how much they, they weigh. Certain things will weigh different, so this is 466 grams. You know, rip off the label so you've got a better grip, because it has little bits of uh, crinolations underneath, and that will help. The next thing you can use is a water bottle. That's uh, a Lucozade. Uh, medium sized one. It's full of water. That's 1073. Sorry about that, we had a little bit of interruption. 1075. It did say 73, but 75, so that's just over a kilo. It's better to hold in your hand, but the problem with bottles is the lids. You've got to make sure they're secure. I will show you a different way of doing it uh, afterwards. So I'll put that there. We'll just try and create a nice long level. Then we go up to 1.5 litres. That's there. The, yesterday, the other day I did show you with the string to actually make it a little bit easier to grab hold of. And I put some masking tape around the top. Don't use cell tape. Cell tape makes things slippy. That is 1.5 kilos, 1 1,540 grams. So that goes there. So that's good. So you've got, in my class, small, intermediate, heavy dumbbells. Then, you've got other things you can use as well. If you want, you can use milk cartons, but just make sure that they have their the little ring pull. So these tend to be, hello everyone, these tend to be uh, long life ones. But I would secure the top, and definitely secure the top of most bottles. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. So this one is 1053. As you can tell, Certain things which are a litre, uh, that's a litre, that's a litre, that's light, that's, well that's the same weight actually, yes, 
but sometimes certain liquids are actually different weights depending on the viscosity. Uh, like here, we have some fabric conditioner. It's half full, yet it weighs as much as that. So it's depending on what liquid you have. Just plain water is quite light actually, it's not as heavy. So I'll put that over there. Some useful things that you might need is string, duct tape or gaffer tape, masking tape. That is a backup to that. If you don't have that, that's better because of the fabric which goes through it, it gives it a better grip. If you have tennis uh, racket repair, that's brilliant because it's, it's uh, padded as well. Or uh, industrial uh, electric tape where you can actually pull it tight over the string, it will actually show the string through so you still get loads of grip. That's a little bit of thinner bit. So those are the things we're going to be using today. Other things you can use, water bottles. As I said, I've just been to Sports Direct. So that's a full one. The full one, well, as this is, yeah, this is a litre, again, as you can tell, a litre of water is one kilo. So you can, th you can think about that quite easily. This is two thirds full at 800. So that's slightly in the middle there. So for every litre of water, ordinary water, it's about one kilo. So it depends on the package it comes in, depends on whether it's easy to hold or not. Again with these, be careful of that. It might pop up and you'll get water everywhere. You don't want to get water on the floor because you'll slip whilst exercising. These tops can loosen as well. Now, I went down specially for these. Wasn't book buying, star drops, and sif. Yeah, these are great because they've got handles, and also they've got a lot better tops on. They're a lot more resilient. The problem with bottles is if you drop them, they will they could actually break. Do not use glass at all in any exercise. So I'm going to weigh one of these. That again is a hundred. Is, uh, 100 millilitres is a litre and it's a, it's a one kilo. And you've got handholds. So it's great. You can do the double punches all day with those. If you only want half a weight, fill it up half full. So I'm going to put these at the front because I must admit, these are the best ones so far. Yeah. So I will put on the front of this one because you can see it better. One kilogram. Just so we can see how we're going to secure it. You should secure all bottles this way. So these tops, as you twist, so if you hear it, they come undone. So undo it, cling film, wrap it over, fold it over the top. Right, I'm going to say tighten it up. Sorry, we just lost connection there again. Until it doesn't click. It'll give it a little bit more uh, oomph in the bottom. I fold it over the top. Then get your duct tape, if I can find the edge. And then I go past. Daughter waiting, waiting patiently. Or impatiently. So, oops, this ain't the greatest tape in the world. But as you can see, hopefully there's some striations and fabric in it. What I tend to do on every bottle, put it over the top, over the bottle. Underneath, over the top. And then, it's easy enough just to rip. Do not cut it with scissors because scissors can actually stick to it. It's easier to rip it. That's because of the fabric inside it. 
Right, so that top won't come off. But, because I'm an ex-scout, what I like to do, go around the top, push it over, make sure it's really nice and secure. Make sure the tape attaches to tape, not just to the bottle. Some bottles, because of the high oil content, don't stick very well. So that top is very secure. You can do that the same with other tops. Make sure it's stuck everywhere. That top is not going anywhere. Really good. Also, what I would do is I would not ever fill it completely full of water, make sure there's a little air gap, and if you can, when you're putting the top on, squeeze it just slightly, just to let a bit of the air out. What it does is it makes it more of a balloon, balloon-like, so if you do drop it, it's got more chance of bouncing rather than breaking. A little bit of an air gap, good tip. Right, so that is uh, liquid-based ones. Now, what I have here is I found some play sand in the cellar. So, same one here, the play sand. So, if you want, just use the play sand. But I will show you how to make the dumbbell out of the large one. You can do it any other size. So good, I can actually see everything of me when I actually stand up. I'm not cutting my head off. So you can see it's going in. Get your children to help you. Make different colour ones, put dye in. Use rice. Leave a gap so when you actually use them it shakes, makes a maraca. And then when you get hungry you can use the rice as long as it's clean inside. Right, so. That is that, that is done there, and that is 2.3 kilos with just sand in. Soil is good, but I recommend taking it back out again. Uh, you can do it in different ways, so the same volume a lot heavier depending on how heavy the, the item is inside. Little stones, fine, brilliant, nice little shaky shaky. I'm going to do some shaky shakies for my, uh, for my classes, but I want to make them nice and robust. Uh, so, you got usual dumbbells if you've got them. Right, I have ones I made, if I can find that, yep. Yeah. Once I made, when I first started being a personal trainer, I decided to try and figure out how to make things at home. This is a little bit more complicated. These are tins, okay? What I've done is, I've taken the tin out, I've cut the tin all the way through almost, but before I've done that, I've punched two holes in the top with a screwdriver and a hammer. That is an old wire coat hanger, which I've actually created into a figure of eight. What I do is I open it up, take the stuff out, wash it, put the wire through those holes, fill it with some stones at the bottom and then concrete, and then push the lid until the concrete goes on top. Then, when it's dry, it'll look like that, and it's completely solid. These are the ones I'll be using from day to day. So this, is 900 grams. This one is 900 grams. As you can see, quite nicely balanced. And different to that one, that's 450. So that's just under half a kilo. That's just under a kilo. So these are brilliant. Also, you've got hooks to hang them up. 
and in other live streams I will be actually showing you how I actually created utensils for this, for creating them for using dumbbells and uh, barbells, or at least studio bars. Right, anything else? Uh, I don't want to go through everything today, but I will show you other things. If you are careful, there is a rubber hammer. I would not recommend using these. These are the last resort. Last resort, people! Because these are great. They're quite, you can hold them at the head. But as, as I said, I would not recommend it. Lump hammers. People use large sledgehammers in exercise uh, classes. They have to be very, very careful. Please be very careful if you have to use these. Again, last resort. They're no more dangerous than that. It's just that sometimes the heads can be loose. So just make sure that they're actually nicely on. Do not ever use one of those. You'll end up injuring yourself really badly and you'll end up in hospital. Okay, so don't ever use a claw hammer. If you have to, use double-headed blunted hammers. No axes, no nothing. Don't bring large boulders in either for making big things. You don't, you don't need that at all. Uh, you can just drop them on you. Right, so I am going to... Oh, my pad's gone off. I'm going to go and see if there's any questions to ask. And take a drink out of this absolutely ginormous mug. Could do with some more coffee. No, I can't see anything from that. I can't, it's not responding very easily. Right, okay, so, how have we got any comments? Got two comments so far. Every time I press comments, it just goes to the video. Oh, here we go. Whoop, whoop, thank you, Karen. Karen? And, oh, gosh, okay. Flowering bottles is good too. Yes, flowering bottles is good. Uh, if you want to make it a little bit more sturdy, you can also add a little bit of water with it. Uh, make it more into uh, a paste, if that's how you do it. But it's a good way of storing it as well, in case you're not using it up there. Uh, has anyone got any questions at the moment? I'm looking at the... Chat. There's no, no nothing coming through at the moment, so uh, I'll just recap. You can use uh, tins, tins of na naked beans or whatever are 460 grams. My concrete ones, 900 grams. One litre of water is one kilo. 1.5 litre of water is 1.5 kilos. 1.5 litres of sand is just under two and a half. My favourite so far are these. These are 100 uh, millilitres, sorry, 1,000 millilitres, so that's a kilo. So if you fill these full of sand, you have, you will have, if that's double eight, so it's approximately, you will have two kilos, one in each hand. I would again remember to always support your lids, particularly if using milk bottles. These are great because they're a little bit bouncier than these, but again, Try and remember to always squeeze out a little bit of the air to give it a little bit of buoyancy. So when it bounces, it bounces and doesn't break. Water bottles are great, but again, I would actually put something around the lid just to stop it from popping off because if you're going up and down, they can, they can wear and can bend, and especially if the heat of your hand is going onto it, it could warp the plastic. 
Uh, utensil to use. Uh, string. Gaffer tape. Bottle. Cans. My homemade ones. Cement. Can. Wired coat hanger. Or some kind of wire. As long as it doesn't cut off. Like, can't wrap around your circulation or anything like that. Things for gripping. The string around the, around the barrel, I would go for, like for the here, I would secure it first at the top, wrap it all the way around, put two further down and one at the bottom, because it will still move around the middle. The, uh, I think that's about it really. Yes, that's it. That's it for today, so that's dumbbells over and done with. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. Uh, I will be uploading this to my business website and my Facebook. And I'm going to, again, see if I can try and, once I've got the equipment, uh, stream on YouTube and then I will put them on this channel here. Okay. I'm going to quickly go up to the camera and find out if there's any questions. Hello everyone. Hello Millie, Anne, Claire. Right, so yes, unfortunately the roof has not been done yet, so please excuse that. It's not exactly studio conditions. So I will go over everything. Again, I'll just show everyone what we've done, what we've shown, and what we can do for later is, I'm gonna do punch bag, Medicine balls. And we can do some uh, studio bars and uh, little dumbbells maybe for children, okay, using plasticine. So keep glued for that one. So thank you very much all for coming. Uh, I'm Richard from Seeker Training. That's a horrible roof. But let's all have a healthy, happy time in this time when we're going to be locked down. Thank you very much all for watching. Take care now.